Hi Jurassic cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw the back view of a girl hugging her dog. So let's get started. To draw this sweet little scene, we're going to first start by drawing the girl's head. So I'm going to come right here and let's start with a curve. But I'm going to be leaning her head slightly to the left, so towards the dog. So that's what you want to keep in mind as you draw this. So I'm just going to start about right here. And just start with a basic curve. For the top of her head. And then I'm going to start to bring this down. And on this side as well. So as you can see, my curve is slightly tilted towards the left. So then from there, you can go ahead and draw your hair however you like. So I'm just going to make her hair really long and flowy. So start right here. So this is all up to you how you want to draw her hair. But the longer her hair is, the easier it is because then you don't have to worry about the shoulders. You can just cover the shoulders. It's a nice little way to cheat. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start to bring this down and draw her hair. I'm going to start at the ends. So like I said, I'm going to make her hair really long. And it's going to kind of taper towards the bottom. And connect. There. Okay, so then um, instead of it just looking like a big blob, <laughs> I'm going to break it up right here, kind of towards the top, and I'm going to add a little half ponytail. So I'm just going to start with a little curve right here for where it ties together. And then I'm going to bring in the half ponytail just so that it breaks it up. But obviously you don't have to. But it'd be a nice little touch to break up the big blob of hair by adding a little half ponytail in here or whatever you like. So I'm going to bring this in and connect. And right here, let's add a little um, accessory, a little bow. There, and then you can come in here, a little curve for where it um, separates. Okay, so that is pretty much it for her hair. And then now to start to draw her body. So the key is, um, however you draw the hairstyle, just imagine the head, the neck, so say about right here, I'm going to pick this area as where my shoulders are going to start. So in this area right here, and I'm giving her a very simplified outfit, just a t-shirt. So I'm just going to start with her shoulder, or a curve coming down. And then on this side, bring this point across. It's going to drop a tiny bit. It's going to be a little bit lower on this side, just very slightly. And this side is going to be coming down straight this way. Okay, so then let's start on this sleeve. So I'm going to start bringing in a little angle. And I'm going to tuck everything in here. So just to simplify it. So I have one sleeve in. And then I'm going to start to draw her shirt. So sleeve. So her body is going to be about right here. I'm going to give it a slight curve and then bring it out. So on this side, it's going to come down and say about right there, I'll stop it for her sleeve. And once again, it's centered. So this side, her body will be coming out about right here. And about in this area, I'm going to go ahead and connect it. So just give it a little wobble of a curve. There. So then now for her hip area, come in here and we're going to angle slightly, curve, and then bring it in. So same thing here. Slight angle out and then come in. 
So just bring it back to the same level. Okay, so now that we have that, then let's come back to where the hands are. So I know I'm giving her a pretty big dog, and so her hands are just gonna be at a slight angle. If your dog is much smaller, just drop this hand more and give it more of an angle downwards if you're, you have a small dog. But it's all up to you how you wanna draw it. Um, if you wanna draw a big dog, let's go ahead and just like mine, we're gonna to start to bring her arms in. And say about right there, I'm gonna to start to curve it out. So just about right there. And then in this area right here, you're not gonna see her hand. So we're just gonna curve this down. And bring it in. There. Okay, so for the key now is to put a dog in here, put the head in here and then the body down here. So right in this area, Kind of where the elbow is bending in this area right here. I'm going to start right at the hand area and draw a slight line. And then from there, I'm gonna bring this up. So I'm kind of drawing this dog backwards. <laughs> so about right there. Okay, so then imagine this is the head. So, just come about right here. Just imagine this as a curve. So about right here, I'm going to start with the tuft of fur on top of the dog's head, just to give it some detail right there. And then the ears. I'm giving this dog floppy ears. And once again, it's all up to you what kind of dog you want. You can make his ears go up. I just thought floppy ears would be a lot cuter. So I'm giving my dog here floppy ears. And same thing on this side. And then about in this area where he would have his collar, if you have enough room, you can add a little collar right there. Just bring this in a little bit more. Okay, so they're really close to each other, which is good. So then right here, where the body is gonna start, we're gonna end at this point where the hand is. So you just wanna make sure whatever you do, the hand is right here at that point, and we're just gonna to start to angle it down. And I'm giving it some zigzags just to mimic fur, so it's not too stiff. And so we're gonna be aware that the dog is also gonna end at the same level. So just make sure you remember um, about here. So I'm gonna start about right here and pop out a little curve for where the legs would start and then start to bring it in. So same thing over here. Pop out and bring it in. Let's bring this in a little bit more. Okay, so it looks like the arms wrapped around the head, around the neck, I mean. So let's bring this back to the same level as her right there, and bring it in. There. Okay, so now to draw the bench. Um, let's see here, you know what, before I do that, let's come in here and we're just gonna slightly round it off. Not too much, not too round, but just a little bit because they are sitting, right? So, and then this area, I'm going to draw the dog's tail. So it's just a curve. And zigzag, do a nice long tail, and her as well. So right here, same level. Once again, just slight curve. There. 
pretty much at the same level. Then from there, I'm going to bring a straight line in here. So it's going to be very, very slightly above. Almost at the same level, but just slightly above. And it's going to go through. So I'm just going to bring out the bench about that much. And same thing here. My wobbly bench. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and draw a straight line down on both sides. And then go ahead and connect it. Okay, so going through. There, got my bench in. And then now to draw the legs on our bench, so a very simplified bench. And wobbly legs. So about right there. And let's see. Oh, you know what? I think I made, um, well, let's see here. Let's draw her legs first. Maybe I made the bench too short. We'll see. Let's draw her legs. So let's come in this area, come in the center, and her legs will be, I'm going to draw this one first. So let's come right here, kind of towards the center. We're going to draw two angle lines, and we're going to start to taper it down. Okay, so say about that much as we come closer and then right about here, I'm going to add a curve for the back of her shoes. So right there with that curve, I'm going to bring it down, kind of like drawing a very long pair. And connect it. So that's the back of her shoe and then the other side. So just right here centered and once again angle and you're going to see a little part if you like you don't have to draw if it's too complicated but you can right here maybe just tuck in a little part of her other shoe and it's going to be a little bit higher than this bottom one here this back one right here there Okay, so from there, let's see. Now we have to draw her arms, right? So I'm going to bring her arms. It's going to come about right here. And I'm just having her arms very simple. They're just going to come straight down to her side. And they're going to rest on the bench. So straight down. And as we come down to this area, yeah, I think I made her the bench too small. <laughs> I'm going to curve this out and bring it down. Bring her fingers down and add a little curve here. So let's continue this bench out a little bit more. I should have drawn her hands first. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and draw the legs. So I'm going to bring her the legs of this bench all the way down to where her shoe is. And connect. So same thing over here. And connect. Okay, so now that we have that in we can come in here and draw some details you can curve some fur if you like and let's see here we can draw some grass for our bench maybe where her foot is and if you've been following me you know i love dandelions <laughs> so i'm going to add two of them here, maybe one here, and of course let's add a heart right here for this girl and her best friend, and I'm going to come in here and just erase my little boo-boo right here so you can see a little bit better, 
And that is pretty much it for this drawing of a girl and her best friend sitting watching the sunset maybe or just in the park. It's all up to you. You can add the scenery as you like. But I hope this drawing really inspired you and I made it easy for you to follow along. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.